Yeah, yeah. Dad, we gotta be done with this. <laughs> Where's the combat camera at? <laughs> I agree with one thing that's been said. It is about how good you look. These camis make my butt look fucking awesome. <laughs> I see a whole bunch of do-rags. That motivates the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking professional. Why professional? Is that what we're called? I think y'all are some crazy goddamn motherfuckers. Hey. Not one speech. Now, we've been talking about this. I'm kind of upset about the general speech. I'm kind of upset about the high commander speech. I haven't got any fucking goosebumps yet. <laughs> Have y'all been motivated about this? Oh. No. I know y'all figured out another secret that the Marine Corps has. We don't tell you shit, and we play games. <laughs> Man, I knew we were leaving tonight fucking seven months ago. <laughs> I'm telling y'all because we want you to get fucking pissed off. You might be envisioning us when you kill the enemy. But motherfucker, you're going to be pissed. <laughs> Martian. Fuck that. <laughs> what do y'all want to hear? Y'all want to hear the white sleeves? Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, I'm doing the fucking white sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> we got to fucking step across this parade deck and it's goddamn cold. I'm not doing that shit. Dantes, I don't like you. Neither do we. The white sleeves, that's too long. Y'all know John Glenn's speech, right? Did I tell you that yet? All right, we'll do that. We'll do that real quick. <laughs> who knows who John Glenn is? <laughs> oh, I ain't got time. John Glenn. <laughs> John Glenn, first American to orbit the Earth in space. Kill. Was, was a senator for the state of Ohio. Oldest man to go back up into space because he's a PT god. Before all of that, he was a fucking Marine. An air winger, though. A pilot. <laughs> right, Captain Smith? Right. Have that camera. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> John Glenn, 1974, ran for Senate against a, against a politician named Howard Metzenbaum. Howard Metzenbaum was a sorry motherfucker. John Glenn, at this point, was a Marine, first American to orbit the Earth in space. Howard Metzenbaum asked him, how can you run for Senate when you never held a job? What the fuck would you do if somebody said that shit to you? Kill. Now I'm going to change a little bit of this. I can. It's my world. John Glenn said, is that right? I served 23 years in the United States Marine Corps. I fought through two wars. I flew 149 missions. My plane was hit by an aircraft fire on 12 different occasions. I was in the space program. It wasn't my job. It was my life that was on the line. And this wasn't a 9-to-5 job where I could take time off to take the daily cash receipts to the bank. I asked you to come with me as I went the other day to a veterans hospital. And you stand there. You look at those men with their mangled bodies. You look them in the eye and tell them that they never held a job. You come with me and visit any gold star mother. You look her in the eye and tell her her son never held a job. You come with me to the space program and visit the widows and the orphans of Ed White, Gus Grissom, and Roger Chafee. And you look those kids in the eye and tell them that their dads never held a job. You come with me on this Memorial Day weekend coming up to Arlington National Cemetery where I got more friends than I'd like to remember. And you stand there. You watch those waving flags. You think about this nation and you tell me that those people never held a job. Fuck! I'll tell you, Howard Metzenbaum, you should be on your knees every day of your life thanking God that there are some men who have held a job. And they required a dedication of purpose, a love of country, and a dedication to duty that was more important than life itself. Their self-sacrifice is what made this country fucking possible. Isn't that badass? Hey! <laughs> Fuck you all. Isn't that badass? Hey! Hey, Roger, that hoopy, are you motivated? Hey, I see you're doing right. <laughs> right, quiet professionals. Fuck all that. Fuck hey, all this talk about doing what you've been trained to do. You all know damn well you get out there and you fucking do shit because of the Marine to your left and the Marine to your fucking right. God, country, and core don't matter at that fucking point. Let the Taliban throw the fucking women and children in front. We won't shoot. We'll just fucking creep out around them with a cup of coffee, slap them on the fucking shoulder and say, what the fuck is your problem, bitch? <laughs> fuck them. Let them try to fight the United States Marine Corps conventional. What the fuck is wrong with their... The 
stupid motherfucker! <laughs> Shoot at me! Bring the AA gun down, bitch! Let's fucking do this! <laughs> You're gonna do what you need to do for fucking each other, not for anybody else. And it's tomorrow, or maybe in a couple days, it might take a little bit longer than that. The people of Mars will be on their knees every day of their fucking life, thanking God that angry. The string has been cut loose. They can't fucking stop us now! <laughs> what the fuck are they gonna do now? Shit, fuck you, get up. <laughs>